Streets here with a review of the CZ75 P01 Omega. I absolutely love this gun. I started my concealed carry journey with a 1911, and this definitely fits that form factor, but gives me a double stack magazine instead and a lot more customizable options in my opinion. Um, as you can see, obviously, this is the suppressor ready version in urban gray. It comes with the threaded barrel and the suppressor height sights, um, which when it comes to firearms for me, I'm all about options. So not that I'm going to run a suppressor all the time, but the fact that I can is very appealing to me. Um, another thing that I like about it is that it comes with those suppressor height sights. If I wanted to get this thing milled for a red dot, then I could very easily co-witness it. Um, which is something that's very appealing to me. So like I said, it just gives you lots and lots of options. Um, as you can see, I have the safety installed instead of the decocker. I think that comes from my 1911 background. Um, I am a big fan of safeties because I feel like when I'm coming up to shoot, I'm taking it off anyway. It doesn't distract me at all. It gives me somewhere to shelf this thumb, and I feel like shelving this thumb like this helps me to manage recoil. Um, it also allows me to just have the single action pull the whole time. I don't have to deal with a double action pull. I know that a lot of people who tote decockers will say um, having a safety is just another thing to train around, another thing that you have to defeat before you can get to actually uh, defending yourself by shooting. Um, I would argue that having to train around a double action pull would be very similar. And personally, I'm just more comfortable with the safety. So that's just me. It comes with the decocker. If you uh, think that's what you wanna go with, that's totally fine. Um, so like I said at the beginning, options, lots and lots of options. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't love about this gun right out of the box is the trigger. Um, I personally don't think it's that bad. Um, they say with good trigger mechanics, you want to kind of be surprised by the trigger um, when you're shooting. That way you can't anticipate the recoil. That means that you don't end up dipping at all. Um, so being surprised by the trigger is typically a good thing. And in my personal opinion, um, the lack of a hard tactile wall in this trigger makes it so that you can be surprised by it. Um, show that the gun is clear. Um, so, I don't know what the poundage is on this exactly. All I know is it's not very heavy. You got a bit of travel at the beginning, a little bit of mush there, and then you hit kind of a wall, and it feels like it's gonna be the wall, but then you go back just a little bit further, and just a little bit further, and just a little bit, up, oh, and there it goes. Um, now, I personally don't mind that, but there are a lot of people out there who do. Um, also, the, the, the only gripe I really have with the trigger is the reset is a little bit long. Just when you think you're gonna get it, you don't, and then boop, there it is. Um, one thing I do like about that though is it's very loud, very tactile. You can feel it, you can hear it. Um, and when you're on the range shooting, you really don't notice that that reset is long. So it is not something that has ever bothered me while I was shooting. It bothers me while I'm doing something like this, letting the trigger out slowly. Um, but otherwise, it's really not a big deal. Um, obviously, I would love to send it into Cajun Gunworks and have them Cajunize it because I hear that uh, having a Cajunized trigger is just the best thing that you'll ever have in your life. Um, and so one day, I will probably do something like that. I really like this magazine release. As you can see, it's extended, but it's not crazy extended. It's not super out there. And I like that because when I have my full grip, I don't feel like I'm going to press it with that left support hand. Um, but at the same time, it's out there enough that I can reach it without having to change up my firing grip. All I have to do is move my thumb from the safety the way that I like it shelved, comes down, boop, comes right out. Easy enough. Um, the magazines themselves are Metgar magazines, 14 rounds. 
you can very easily find uh, base pads that will um, not just extend but add capacity if that's something that you want um, but for me these are just fine uh, typically this gun comes with the base pads this version did not for me uh, but those are just extensions for the grip as you can see I can get a full three finger grip on this gun and I have decently sized hands um, so this is not a problem for me as far as the actual grip goes I was not a huge fan of the rubber grips that this came with so I opted to take those off and throw on these grenade textured cool hand uh, cool hand gear grips got them on Amazon for under 40 bucks and I love them the uh, the rubberized ones they have that palm swell it makes the it makes the uh, the grip just a little bit fatter, which I'm not a huge fan of. I want this gun to be as thin as possible. Um, and I found that the rubber caught on my shirt when I was trying to get to the firearm. So those were a no-go for me. I opted for these. They're cheap. They look good. They do what I think they're supposed to do. They add really good grip. I feel like I have a really solid purchase on the firearm. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't feel so aggressive that it's going to rip the skin off my hands and it's not going to rub me the wrong way if I'm wearing it uh, on my back or on my hip or at the front. It's not going to rub my stomach. Um, so anyway, these grips are good for me. Um, these sights are night sights, three dot. I'm a big fan of those. They uh, make for really easy target acquisition. And honestly, in the end, this gun just slaps. It just slaps the target. Um, I would recommend this gun for anyone. Whether you are a beginner or you've been shooting forever, this thing just makes life so easy and it's so customizable. You can, like, I could throw on base pads if I wanted to. I could send it in to get the slide milled and throw an optic on. I could switch out that uh, threaded barrel protector for one of a different color or a different texture or whatever I want. I can throw a bunch of lights on this thing. Like, everybody talks about the customizability of Glocks, and that's great, uh, but these things are just as good as my, in my opinion, and they shoot better, in my opinion, as well. Also, there is no shortage of options for holsters. I have gone with a local company here in Utah that makes uh, a holster for this gun. They are called Odin Holsters. Um, carbon fiber blue, two clips, and a claw. I can wear this anywhere around the clock, which is awesome. Show you their logo there. So that was just the best option for me, and I love this thing. It's, uh, it's the perfect size for me. I'm not a very large person, but I can conceal this thing all day long, very comfortably. Hardly notice that it's there. Uh, fantastic firearm. These are a little bit of a unicorn, they are described that way super often. They're hard to find. There's not many of them being made. Um, and so uh, I had to go through the local website here in Utah where people buy and sell and trade. And I just waited until someone threw one up there, negotiated a reasonable price and scooped it up. And I have loved it ever since. Um, there was some footage of me shooting this thing before the review started, and I'm gonna post a little bit more after. Um, that's just to show how easy this thing is to use. I am not a professional shooter. Um, I don't put a ton of rounds down range each week, not as many as I'd like to at least. Um, and so from that, you can see that this thing is just a dream to shoot. Um, easy conceal, uh, just a good deal all around, looks fantastic. It, honestly, for me, it hits all the points. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.